every week we talk about some some aspect of life and some challenge that life brings on a daily basis not just a weekly basis but sometimes even an hourly basis some time ago I posted that you cannot touch a person's pain unless you're willing to understand the salt level of their tears and I think those words perhaps resonates even more for me today and I'm asking you just for just a few more moments on this one today because this is heavy and as I'm walking this journey with these friends of mine who are having to say goodbye to a talented gifted brilliant child who ended her life tragically what I'm thinking about this morning and what I want to convey through this M4 this morning is that as you spend time this week not just with yourself with your families with your friends but with those individuals in your circle those people who trust you those people who respect you those people that you talk to those people that you see in the supermarket for those in the military, those individuals in your formations. Depression is real. Suicide thoughts and ideations are real. And I don't think we need to be judging people anymore. I don't think we need to be trying to figure out all of what we don't understand anymore. What we need to understand, and what I want to convey this morning is, we need to try to understand their salt levels. Understand what is what is what what is motivating the tears is flowing. Sometimes the tears are physical; other times, they're just emotionally scarred. I think it was Winston Churchill who famously said that a bulldog's nose is slanted backwards so that he can breathe without letting go. And he was talking about persistence. But what I'm also recognizing that sometimes individuals who are struggling, who are, who are in a struggle, even that word persistence is a challenge. So what I've got for you this morning is pause sometime during the course of this week and debt listen to that person that is in that, that valley. Try to withhold judgment and try to listen, try to learn, try to walk as painfully as it might be with them on that journey. I don't know about you, but I think this thing suicide is, is becoming more and more of a challenge and we can't put our heads in the sand anymore it is real and it is here and so for those individuals very targeted this morning that I'm talking to yes the dark place is real the pain and the ambivalence is real even the struggle to stay motivated is real all I ask you from my heart is just take one more pause and talk to somebody. Take one more pause and just give it one more shot. As hard as it is, you try to stay motivated. It's the beginning of another week. Yeah.